New tonight, overworked and understaffed. The dispatchers who answer your 911 calls here in Phoenix, they need your help. Back in January, Brandon, they needed 75 people, but staffing is improving now. Spencer Blake is live in Phoenix to explain that there is still a long way to go here. Spencer. A long way indeed. You know, there are about 2 million calls that come into the Communications Bureau at Phoenix Police each year. So an individual dispatcher could answer about 200 911 calls a day. The department is still dozens of hires away from having enough people to answer those calls. Phoenix 911, where is your emergency? In a life and death industry, Phoenix Police Sergeant Mercedes Fortune says she counts 911 dispatchers as first responders too. If it wasn't for them, we, could, we ourselves could not do the job that we do. That important work doesn't have enough people to do it. Phoenix PD says understaffing has led to hours of required overtime and standby shifts. Since our report on an understaffed communications bureau aired in January, the department got more than 160 applications for the job. It hired 21 new dispatchers. But Supervisor Denise Birds says understaffing is a constant issue. Even now, she still fills in back on the call floor when needed. It's an industry problem. It has been. Um, I don't remember a time when we were fully staffed. I had to work lots of overtime when I was on the floor, too. A lawsuit filed against the city of Phoenix last month claims overtime hours led to the death of dispatcher Pamela Cooper, who worked a 16-hour shift after recovering from COVID. She couldn't breathe the next morning and died a week later. She was drained and, and mentally beaten. I mean... She couldn't handle that many hours that fast. In February, the city council discussed bumping up salaries for 911 operators to get more applicants. Despite the stresses of the job, Bird says the officers appreciate their work, especially now during National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week. They've made it known um, through email as well how important we are and how much they trust us and love us, which is always fantastic. You're going to save someone's life. You are truly going to impact someone, and that phone call will change that person's life. Fortune hopes that potential will bring more life-saving call takers onto the force. And if you are thinking of applying to become a 911 dispatcher in Phoenix, we have a link for you at azfamily.com. Live in Phoenix, I'm Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.